Okay, this is the uh, electrochemistry question from November 2019. If you look at this question, you can immediately see over here we have a salt bridge. Okay, and you can see that we have a voltmeter, both of which tell me that this is a galvanic cell which is producing um, a current rather than using a current to split a chemical compound. So he has a galvanic cell. It says, a standard electrochemical cell is set up using two standard half cells as shown in the diagram below. State the energy conversion that takes place in the cell. Well, this cell, being that it's a galvanic cell, is converting chemical energy into electrical energy because we are completing the circuit and the circuit is... Um, causing electrons to flow. We can measure it with a voltmeter, so chemical to electrical energy. What is the function of component Q? Well, you can clearly see this is Q over here. It's the salt bridge. So the salt bridge is um, keeping electrical neutra neutrality. It lets the ions um, cross the, the between the two half cells, okay, because obviously the, when the electrons are transferred in the circuit, through the circuit, and other things happen in the cell, it would become electrically unbalanced because of the loss of loss and gain of electrons at the different half cells. So it el keeps electrical neutrality, and it also allows ions to cross between the um, between the half cells. So now it says to you, X is a metal. See here, here is X. It is this electrode over here. It says a voltmeter across the cell initially registers 1,49 volts. Use a calculation to identify the metal X. So when we do the calculations, remember, we have to use these formulas over here. These EO cell equals EO cathode minus EO anode or EO cell equals EO reduction minus EO oxidation, or EO cell equals EO oxidizing agent minus EO reducing agent. Now the thing is here, you may not under any circumstances abbreviate these formulas, even these ones which are incredibly long, okay? So I'm going to say EO cell equals EO reduction minus EO oxidation because that's the one that makes most sense to me, okay? So if we go here, you copy out the formula exactly like it is on the formula sheet. Okay, EO cell or E theta cell equals, it's reduction minus oxidation, isn't it? Yes. EO reduction minus EO oxidation. For a moment, I had a moment and thought that I had the incorrect answer when I said reduction minus oxidation. So it says initially the cell is registering 1,49 volts. So that is the total voltage coming out of the cell. And we know we've got chlorine going to chlorine gas and X going to X ions. Okay, so we've got X2 plus an X and they are going to give us 1,49. So we know that here we're going to use the chlorine half reaction from the table. So we need to get the value for the chlorine half reaction, okay? Because if we come here and have a look in the table, can you see here is the chlorine reaction? Let me scribble on this with a color. Can you see here is the chlorine half reaction, okay? And here is its cell potential. And basically there is absolutely nothing that is um, more likely to be reduced than the chlorine. So this has got to be the reduction um, reaction. Remember, oxidation is loss of re uh, electrons and reduction is gain. There's only four things above it. And all the metals are way down here on the other side in the second half of the table down here. This is basically where all the metals are. So the chlorine has to be the reduction reaction, okay? So if we go and write here, we can write that um, chlorine plus two electrons 
is going to 2Cl minus, and we know it's going in that direction, so we can draw it with a single arrow. And this cell was 1,36, uh, the, the voltage for this, 1,36, positive 1,36. So this is going to be in here 1,36 minus the value of the oxidation, okay? So if we do some algebra here, we will find out that the E theta of oxidation, it's such a pain to write out the whole word, you must always write out the whole word. It's 1,36 minus 1,49, which gives you a value of minus 0, 0,13 volts. So now what we have to do is we have to go back to this table over here, and we have to say, where is minus 0, 0,13? And if we have a look over here, can you see on the lead to lead 2 plus is minus 0, 0,13, okay? But obviously now, this is not going to be the forward reaction that's taking place, okay? It's going to be the backward reaction, lead going to lead ions. So let's go back and write that. Okay, so therefore this is balanced and it's whatever it is. So we now need to finish off here and say metal X equals PB or we can say it is lead if we didn't know PB plumbus was lead. So now it says to you, so this is 8.3, 8.4 says to you, write down the name or formula of the reducing agent. Now the reducing agent is itself oxidized okay because a reducing agent is oxidized and oxidation is loss of electrons so the lead here is losing electrons so the lead itself is what is being oxidized and remember it's the lead metal not the lead iron now it says to 8.5 the reading on the voltmeter becomes zero after the cell operates for a few hours Give a reason for this reading by referring to the rates of oxidation and reduction half reactions taking place in the cell. Now, I drew this with a forward arrow and I drew this with a forward arrow, but as you know from the table, all of these are reversible uh, reactions, and so all reversible reactions can reach equilibrium. So when this reaches equilibrium, okay, the forward rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the backward reaction, so the rate of oxidation is equal to the rate of reduction, okay, the reaction has reached equilibrium, and then because the reaction has reached equilibrium, uh, the voltmeter reading drops to zero. Okay, now it says to you, a silver nitrate solution, AgNO3 aqueous, is now added to the chlorine half cell. So they're putting it in here. Silver nitrate goes in here. Now silver nitrate is soluble, but silver chloride is not. Silver chloride is a solid precipitate. The precipitate is silver chloride. Okay. This is the formula for silver chloride. So it says to you, how will the reading on the voltmeter be affected? So we have to work out, according to Le Chatelier, what is happening when we add the silver nitrate? It is taking out these chlorine ions from solution. And what were the chlorine ions doing? They were a product. They were being formed. So if you have a look over here, can you see this is the reaction that's going on in that cell? Chlorine plus two electrons goes to chlorine ions. So we are now removing the product of this reaction when we add the silver nitrate. And if we are removing the product of the reaction, the equilibrium is going to 
shift to the right and favor this reaction. So if we favor this reaction, we are going to increase the reading on the voltmeter because the rate of reaction, the rate of the forward reaction has increased and that's what's pushing electrons through the voltmeter. So the reading on the voltmeter is going to increase and according to Le Chatelier's principle, the reaction removes chlorine ions So the forward reaction is favored. Please don't abbreviate a reaction like this. But the forward reaction is favored as the chlorine ion concentration decreases. The equilibrium shifts to the right to replace the to replace them. Okay, there we go. That's the end of this question.